Hey, everybody. Sorry, I'm trying to switch webcams here. So that you don't have to watch me typing on that lower webcam. Can you guys all hear me okay? Well, I see we got a couple of people online. Can you guys hear me okay? Oh, there we go. Cool. Yeah, I'm actually doing this outside because we are having an unusually cool weather pattern coming through the desert right now. So it is just absolutely beautiful outside right now. All right. Well, guys, what kind of questions can I answer for you about that last episode? Not everybody all at once. Well, what questions do you guys have for me? Oh, come on, guys. If we're going to have a live episode here. Need to have a little communication. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm a little delinquent right now. Um, I've been uh, working pretty hard these last couple of weeks, so I have done zero uh, in the last three weeks. Now, under normal conditions, I actually upload um, twice a week. And, you know, here, let me, uh, let me put something up on the screen here. I don't know if I can screen share, but what I can do – oh, no, I can't turn my camera around. Uh, what I've got is I upload – uh, well, I've got a uh, file system that's dated in twice a week. I can see the dates, and that tells me when I need to upload. So as I'm processing out my images, I just drop them into the different uh, folders for different dates. And whenever that date rolls around, I go ahead and I upload. So I try to do twice a week, and I think that actually helps a bit uh, because you're contributing on a more frequent basis. And when I started doing that, probably about three or four weeks after I started doing that, I started noticing I was getting more sales. So I think some of the stock agencies pay attention to how often you contribute to the bottom line. Um, we have a question here. Uh, do you still upload the shutter stock? Oh, that's a, that is a very, very touchy subject. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, it was a July 2nd episode, which is actually Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, I am actually doing a special episode on that one. <coughs> Excuse me, I've also been talking all week. <laughs> mm. oh, no, it's not COVID. It's because I do speak for a living, and sometimes it happens. All right, so uh, with, with uh, Shutterstock, uh, yeah, I'm getting more than my fair share of the 10 cent uploads. So more than likely what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next payout level, which I understand is $35. So only uh, less than a month from, from now, I'll have that. Uh, I'm probably going to cash out and then I'm really considering disabling the account. I'm doing the math right now, looking back an entire year and uh, reevaluating what, what my earnings would be under the new commission schedule. And that's ultimately what's going to make my decision. So Wednesday is when I'm going to sit down with all of my records from the past year and uh, put them in a spreadsheet that translate my before earnings to my the earnings and the new schedule. But I'll be honest with you guys, um, I went ahead and uh, decided not to upload the Shutterstock any further until I analyzed the data and uh, more than likely, I'm heading to a disabling of my account at this time because it's just, I mean, I still make money off them, but that's a pretty ridiculous cut. And if the numbers are as, as bad as what I think they're going to be, yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, shut disable the account. I'm not going to delete it. What I'm hoping is as more and more people disable those accounts, they'll get the hint 
and put the old commission schedule back into play so when I re-enable my account all the images and videos will still be there. Have you tried IM yet? Yes, I have tried IM um, and I'm behind on uploading my portfolio to them. I just finished my Pond5 upload a few weeks ago and like I said, I've been so busy, haven't been able to finish uploading my portfolio to IM. How much luck have you had with IM? Okay, good. Well, good. Good. Um, that gives me hope then when I finally get around to it. I heard Pond5 is better for video than it is for photos. So I have to uh, finish doing my video uploads, and those take significantly longer time. I tell you, this camera angle, I'm not you guys, I do have a second camera hooked up here. It's just not good. It's on. The microphone's being used, but not the camera part of it. So again, sorry about this weird angle, but my, my camera's right down there by the keyboard. What other agencies have you guys had luck with? I'll tell you guys what, if anybody's typing in, Adobe has been my top agency for a number of months. Now, um, after July 20th, that's when I finally got, again, get all the numbers so I can do the June uh, for uh, earnings report. Um, there is a shocking change in who my type top agency is. I mean, a big shocking change. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what happened there, guys, but it's, it's yeah, it's a good month. I'll just say that. It's a good month. <laughs> what other questions do you guys have for me? Well, I know in that episode I mentioned the upcoming Japan trip, and um, because unfortunately, especially since I live in Arizona and we seem to not be able to get a grip on this whole COVID thing, um, we might push it back a month or we might push it back to the original springtime. Um, and I can tell you we're already making plans to um, uh, hit uh, Korea and then up to Japan, essentially we're going to follow the cherry blossoms as they go north. So that's something that's in the planning phase, and I'm really hoping the world gets its act together and gets this thing under control. Uh, what agencies do you recommend? Well, definitely Adobe. Um, that's the, you know, they were previously Fotolia. That's the first agency I've ever um, uploaded to. So, um, yeah, when Adobe took them over, the sales just skyrocketed on that one. So that's my top agency right now. Um, I, let's see. Um, well, I can't recommend Shutterstock anymore. I just can't. Getty is okay. Um, the problem with Getty is every once in a while you will get a sale even smaller than, um, than Shutterstock. And that, but it's rare though. It's rare. I've actually had a six cent image, actually video. And I about lost it when I saw that. But that is an exceptionally weird thing. And Getty is the reason why I can't bring you guys my earnings report at the beginning of the month because they wait till the 20th. But I am getting good sales on Getty. Uh, Dreams Time, that was the second agency I started working with over a decade ago. They, um, they were up here and then they really went to decline. And I've actually started to see them going up again. So there's hope for uh, Dreams Time as well. Those will be the ones I tell you guys to take a look at. Now, again, I am evaluating Pond5, and I'm starting my journey here with IM. So those may work out even better. I can't really tell you because I don't have enough time with those. Um, hey, Jason, look forward to find out what your best selling agency have been for the last month. Well, I can if you take a look at my earnings report, go back into the channel to the May earnings report, and you'll see uh, Adobe. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, but like I said, that position is going to change. I'm not going to tell you who's the winner for this next month. You guys have to tune in for that one. 
iStock. Now, iStock, actually, I'm on the iStock contract with Getty. I still get my reports from Getty, not iStock. But I can see my contract is still listed with them. And yeah, I was pretty disappointed when iStock got purchased. But now that I'm seeing more sales, I'm not really too worried about it. Um, so do you get your, your reports through Getty, or is it still on the iStock site? I mean, I'll be honest with you, I see that I get sales on both iStock and Getty. <clears throat> well, you guys got any more questions in for me? Hmm. Well, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get out here and shoot some more photography here in this beautiful state I live in. We are in what we call monsoon when we get these massive thunderstorms, um, but... <sighs> As you can see, there's not a cloud in the sky right now. It really doesn't pick up to July. So we're hoping that we get some really interesting weather. And the cool thing is they're most active around sunset, so they can capture some amazing color. So I'm uh, keeping an eye on the weather. I My uh, schedule has me sporadically staying at home. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get out and capture and share some of those with you guys. Now, just to be forewarned, I do keep the channel about a month ahead in episodes because... I do enter these work periods where I am just day and night going and I don't have time to uh, create videos and post them. So um, yeah, anything I record moving forward will not appear to the end of July into early August. But uh, like I said, I'm just waiting for the monsoons to kick up and I'll be heading out around the state. And um, yeah, this, uh, this place is just absolutely beautiful. I live and I'm very lucky. So do you guys uh, have any uh, thing else for me? We're all together here. This is the first time I've ever gone live, so now's the time to ask questions. All right, if nobody pops anything up there, guys, I just want to thank you for uh, joining me. Yeah, it's all, all, always nice to have somebody else to talk to when you're on these things. Uh, just a reminder, for those of you who didn't don't know, I did start a Patreon site, so it's patreon.com forward slash explore with Jason. For those of you who aren't familiar with Patreon, it's a site that if you want to take your support of this channel one step further, uh, you're able to, and there's uh, three different support tiers. Uh, on the first one, you get uh, at least, actually it looks like it's going to be about once a week at the rate I'm going, a 4K desktop background download. Um, the second tier, you also get, um, oh, I see your question. I'll get to it in just a second. The second tier, you guys, I, what I do is I give you out the GPS locations where I've been taking some of my photos. And on the third, you'll actually get to see some background stuff. And by the way, shout out to Maxim. I don't know if Maxim's on here right now. He was joining us in the live stream or in the uh, in the uh, premiere episode we just uh, looked at. And Maxim is going to see his first behind the scenes stuff tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. Okay. I get, oop, message. What is your favorite lens for stock photography? Okay. I'll be honest with you. I am such, I hate changing lenses. I hate changing lenses. So I have one lens that I rarely ever take off. Um, it's a Canon 18 to 200. And I mean, it's a, I wish I did not, I don't have my camera out here and I can't, my wife is in the office working, so I can't go in there to grab it. Um, but yeah, it's an 18 to 200. It is heavier than what I want. And uh, it does uh, have, let's well, call lens drift. If I angle it down too far, it actually, the zoom lens start, starts drifting from gravity. So that's a downside. But the cool thing is because it's got that wide 18 millimeter angle, all the way to a 200, I don't have to worry about changing out lenses. So what, when I'm traveling, so that, that is, I mean, that's the second one of those lenses I've owned. The first one, the, um, the autofocus broke 
And I finally caved in. I've been doing, I was doing manual focus for like two years on it. Then I finally caved in and got a replacement for it before I headed off to Europe two years ago. So that's the one that I use. And um, yeah, I've uh, popped on the 300 when I really need to do something for like uh, wildlife photography, which is something I don't get to do a whole lot of. But other than that, I keep that lens on. Oh, Alan, is, oh, Alan no. Mm. Um, hang on, let me pop it up. I have had two cells in Omni in the past um, six months. Let's see, stock photos. And let me bring up my dashboard, see if there's any hope of anything new on them. Yeah, nothing. So, yeah, on that site, um, my cells have been atrocious. Now, I've been regularly uploading to that site, but you know when you go in there and they say to make it more discoverable, you have to add all these special tags and stuff like that on there? Um, I've had people tell me you don't have to do that, so I've been kind of not doing it and um, haven't got anything out of it. So I don't know. The only reason why I stick with Almany is because I have uh, I use FileZilla to uh, do my uploads. And um, wait, do I use FileZilla for that one? No, that's just a drag and drop. I drag drop. I forget. It's done. And it accepts the way how I do all of my uh, metadata. It accepts all that and it's all finished. If you guys need to know how I do my metadata, take a look at the episode uh, from a I think it was last month I did my entire stock photography workflow. Uh, one of you, one of the uh, subscribers on the channel asked me to put together how I do all my keywording and stuff like that. So I just did the entire workflow from start to end in a, it was like a 20 minute video, but that will show you guys how I prep that stuff. So I am still uploading Almany, hoping that someday they kick in, but it's not looking good for me. How are your sales doing? <laughs> you're ahead of me <laughs> i've only got two yeah i know it that's just one of the sites let's see so almany um big stock photo can stock actually big stocks pick up little can stocks picking up a little bit nothing too glamorous one two three rf um those sites are kind of my yeah um over the course of the year you make about a hundred dollars or a little bit more than a hundred dollars total off those sites and because of the way how I do my metadata, it's just a quick upload. I'm done. I don't have to do anything else. That's the reason why I stick with them. Other than that, trust me, I would not be sticking with them. Has one of the best Google ranks. Yeah, it does, but I'm I'm not getting traffic. Obviously, you're not getting a lot of traffic, so I don't know. 2020 is working okay. I've never heard of 2020. Really? Hang on here. Let me make a note. I need to take a look at 2020. I'll take a look at that. Thank you. How, are, how many assets do you have on 2020? Okay. Evanto now. Okay, hang on. Let me change that note to take a look at it. Evanto. But are you getting get, uh, decent sales with them? Yeah, guys, sorry about these long pauses, but I've noticed about uh, YouTube, you know, you got to wait for my signal to go up and then eventually it gets to you guys. And then it takes a while for the, the chat messages to relay back to me. Okay, so around, wahoo! And they don't take more than 10 keywords. Well, I can write, I can write code to remove all but my 10, my first 10 keywords. That's not a big deal. That is awesome. Okay, I'll definitely be looking in that one. Oh, but they're for exclu are they exclusive? Yes, yeah, sales end has got to be better than one, two, three RF. That's something I tried years ago, and again for me, it's just I tell upload, it's done. I don't I don't do anything else. 
they, if they're exclusive, the problem with that is, is that you can't sell images across multiple agencies if you're under exclusivity. Exclusive. Exclusivity, yes, man. All right. All right, guys, anything else you got for me? All right. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to go make myself some lunch and then uh, get back to so, uh, to work. I've uh, got a few episodes I still am trying to uh, edit here and a few more in the works. So um, well, let's let you guys in. I'm doing one right now on the parallax effect. And if you guys go back to the Venice episode that popped up last week, if you look at that opening scene, I did four um, still images that were animated, and that's called the parallax or the 2.5D effect. So I'm actually working on showing you guys how to do that with uh, just Photoshop, not doing it with After Effects. Um, so there's something for you guys to look forward to. So anyhow, um, yeah, I'm just about done here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me out here today and give me an opportunity to take a break from work. And uh, like I said, tech, check out patreon.com forward slash e w j or explore with jason if you guys want to take a look at um supporting this channel a little further that's a place to go but if it doesn't speak to you that's fine let me tell you guys i appreciate every one of my uh subscribers on this channel if you guys haven't noticed we about hit that magic 1000 subscriber um number so if you guys could also do me a favor hit that share button pick a favorite episode of yours and hit that share button share it out through social media I'd appreciate guys. Thank you so much. And yes, thank you. You have a good day as well. Take care, everybody. And uh, we'll do this again sometime. Later. Oh, yes, please don't forget to click that like button. All right, bye all.